Hi y'all, I'm Allison. I don't have much time to talk because it is already April the 8th and classes at Aurelium started a week ago on Monday the 1st and guess what? I haven't been to any classes yet. That's right. And I am running late. It's already 9.15. So if I don't book it, I'm not even going to make it to my first morning class for the day. Already late, but hopefully I can sneak in the door before the teacher notices and be counted for the day. So let me look and see where I'm supposed to be. I don't even know why Nasilla signed us up for three hours in the morning. I have no clue. Okay, Elemental Studies. That is Victoria. So I've got my book. I've got to run to class. I will catch up with y'all when my morning classes are over. And then we'll take a look at the mess I've gotten myself into. Okay, I'll see you real soon. Bye. All right, I'm back. It's Monday afternoon. So, I was in a rush this morning. I really didn't have time to talk to y'all because I was running late for class. In fact, I was really late because I got caught in the hall on my way there. And I, I missed some more class time. So, here's our calendar. My tests are coming up in two weeks. This, of course, is the magical readathon, And I have assigned myself exam dates as well as I have to follow a bell schedule to read all of my books. I can't just pick up a book and read it cover to cover. No, I have to comply with the rules that I've set for myself. And today is my first day. I would love to tell you it's April 1st. It's not. It's April 8th. So I've already lost a whole week. <laughs> I am on brand. You know, I shortened the month by adding the exams. Now I have even taken away the full week because I didn't get started in time. So, this morning, here's my schedule. I, I've got a full day. And um, I arrived late to Elemental Studies. Now, in my defense, there was a big buzz going around the halls over at Aurelium because everybody was excited. The professors, it turns out, all got together with, I believe it was the astronomy class because they had a little little something that they wanted to share with everybody this afternoon. So that was all everybody could talk about, which was why I didn't even make it all the way to my classroom. I, I could have made it there, almost made it in time, but I got caught talking. So instead of arriving at elemental studies at nine o'clock, like I should have, I didn't walk through the door until 936. And then I kind of linked on to the back of the class and quietly sat down. So, Victoria was my book for this class, and I absolutely loved it. I'll admit, I wasn't necessarily too thrilled to begin Aurelium with this book. I was just like, oh, okay, you know, I was kind of indifferent to it, and it got me right from the beginning. I am so invested in this already, and I am only on page 42. I got that far because... I didn't leave class at 10 o'clock like I should have. I was so engrossed in my book, I didn't even notice the bell ring, so I didn't leave with the rest of the class. In fact, I was still sitting there at 10.30. So I lost a full 30 minutes of my next class because I was so enthralled by this one, and it was worth it. This is so good, and I cannot wait to get back into this. So it starts with a Victoria being 16 and you know, she's pretty much under the thumb of her mom and her mother's evil advisor. Call him evil because he definitely is seeking control of the crown through Victoria because it's known that her uncle is ailing and will be dying soon. Her uncle, the king. And she just wants him to survive until she turns 18 because she has her own plans in mind. She's going to run her own life. She's going to be queen in her own right and not be controlled by Conroy. So I'm really enjoying it. But before I can get back to that class, I had to go to my astronomy class today. Now, since I wasn't there for the first week of school, I didn't get to partake in today's spectacle as far as helping set it up and bring it all about. But I did get to 
spend time with the city of lost souls thanks to my lingering a little too long in elemental studies i didn't start this class until 10 40. i should have started at 10 to give me the full two hours but i, I didn't in fact i don't even think i got a full hour because i skipped class early i, I snuck out of there to go get pizza because you know priorities <laughs> so we decided to do pizza in my household this afternoon for lunch and I, I went to pick it up before the world got a little crazy because as i mentioned the professors and the astronomy students and i believe some of the other classes joined in they arranged for a total eclipse so that was today i do have footage for you that we decided to get pizza and spent the afternoon out in the yard marveling at the moon covering the sun. We are in the path of totality. I'm in Arlington, Texas, so that was incredible. So I would like to thank the staff at Aurelium Academy for pulling that off for us. They wanted to show the new students what is possible with magic and they put on quite the display for us. So bravo. Actually, it was really cool, y'all much more than I expected but we just stood in the backyard and watched it. it was awesome okay but my day doesn't stop there nope I've got two classes this afternoon and I don't think I discussed it earlier but the way my schedule works my afternoon classes do not set at a certain time I just have two hours anywhere between 12 and 6 that I have to attend the classes and I do have to do them in order. I can't decide to do shape shifting first and then come back and do conjuration. So I have to complete conjuration before going to shape shifting. If I am running out of time, like afternoon, those classes have to be finished by 6. So if I'm, I'm getting close and I'm not going to have enough time to finish both like this morning, then I can either let this one run over and cut this one short or I cut this one short to get the full hour here. I'm sure that makes sense, but I just wanted to point that out because I don't think I've addressed that yet. So this afternoon I have Conjuration. I have no idea what book that one is. Uh, let me look. So I did make my uh, bookmarks. They are back. I will put one up on the screen for you so you can see in detail. I love these. They help me keep track of how much time I have spent, which will actually become crucial once study halls are available because I can only make up lost time. So conjuration on the back. Avalon High. That'll be fun. A little YA. I did forget to mention I am also enjoying City of Lost Souls. This was my astronomy class and I, I made a little bit of progress considering I made it up to page 50. Supposed to have two hours with it. Got to class 40 minutes late, so it wasn't until 10.40. And like I said, I left early, so I don't even think I got a full hour for this. That's all right. There was a total eclipse and pizza. No brainer. I wanted to pick those up before the, in case there was a rush. And I also didn't want to be driving in case people were driving and trying to look at this. No. Evelyn High, that's what we need. All right, it's like... 3.20, so I'm doing good on time. I take my full hour, and it'll be like 4.20, and that'll give me plenty of time to do my second class. So hopefully I will get my full two hours in this afternoon. Yeah, whoever, you know, I don't know what Nisola was thinking, thinking that three hours in the morning would be a good idea, because I have a feeling it's, it's not gonna be, it's gonna be bad, very, 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 very bad. But we will see. Okay, so I am going to rush off to conjuration class and be studying a King Arthur retelling. So this should be fun. Who would, there was somebody who said that this was one of their favorite books. It was Amy Talks Books and Stuff. She saw my TBR game for this and said that this is one of her favorites. So now I'm really excited to read it. I do like Meg Cabot. I believe she wrote the Princess Sirens way back in the day. All right, I will, you know what? I almost forgot. 
and all of the excitement of this crazy morning that I had between running late in the eclipse and pizza, I almost forgot to tell y'all, Nasilla, unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to be smooth sailing for her after all. She had to dip back into her dorm room after her morning classes before running out to lunch. And she noticed there was a card on the floor. Apparently, she had missed it when walking out the door for her first class. That's right. The fake deck is back. And to be a good supportive mentor or whatever Nisilla is subjected to will happen to me as well. So let's find out what those evil sisters had in mind for her today. Oversleep. Late to class. Been there, done that. <laughs> Lose 15 minutes of class time. So apparently, Anisilla went back to her dorm room, took a little nap after lunch, and she missed 15 minutes of her first afternoon class. So I will have to dock that time for myself today. You know, because it's not challenging enough as it is. No. We have to subtract more time. So I don't get a full hour. I only get 45 minutes. All right. Well, I'm going to go spend 45 minutes with King Arthur. And I will be back to let you know how it goes. I'll see you soon. So I survived my afternoon classes. In fact, I made it to both of them and got my full time. Well, aside from, you know, of course sleeping a little late and missing 15 minutes of this. I am really enjoying this one. It's so lighthearted and fun. And it's set in Maryland, which I don't get many books set over there. Eventually, this is going to turn into a King Arthur retelling. Right now, it's just she's learning the lay of the land at a new high school and figuring out who everybody is, finding her place in school. And it hasn't really gotten into the King Arthur myth yet. But you can tell where the groundwork is being laid a little bit. So while I'm reading this one, I'm kind of watching for signs. And you know those crossovers between the stories, which is always fun to do. And I haven't read a King Arthur book in ages. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's a very quick read, at least at this point. And it's still in the setup phase. I made it to page 54 in 45 minutes. Shows how quick of a read it is, which I think will be really nice amongst all of the other books because I'm going to be reading 10 books simultaneously. So I, I know my brain is going to be doing so many mental gymnastics. So we'll see if I can keep up. So far, it, it's going okay. But... My second afternoon class, ship shifting. This one's going to be really dark. I'm really enjoying it. On this, I had an hour and I got 66 pages in. So, again, relatively quick, easy read. But it left with such, such a cliffhanger. And it's killing me to not know what happened. It's just... The bell couldn't have rung at a more inopportune time because it was right on the edge. I find it was, yeah, everything's just crumbling. All sorts of mayhem just began. It's like probably in the middle of it, but I don't know because all I know is my main character has been told to run, get out of there. And now I have to wait until, I have to wait until after sundown tomorrow to find out what's going to happen. Oh, that's going to be excruciating. Oh, man. Okay. So I finished my afternoon classes. Let's pull that schedule back up and see what I have in store for me tonight. Because, oh no, my day is not done. I still have, it looks like three more classes, but thankfully I lucked out because you'll notice the last two are the same elemental studies. And it's actually a book I started this morning, so I get to dive back into Victoria, which I am really looking forward to. So far, that one I think is my favorite of the day. I don't know. It's a really good day. I, I'm really enjoying all of them. I, I don't know. But Dragon Riding, that one, 
is easy to recall what it is that's Aragon. So I'm going to have an hour with that. Now my evening classes, I can't start those until 6 p.m. Any point after 6 I can start. I get an hour with dragon riding and then I'll get an hour and a half with elemental studies. So if I happen to do that, say at 6 o'clock and then at 7 up until 8.30, I would have to wait for the sun to go down to pick Victoria back up again. I can't just continue to read for two and a half hours. I hope that makes sense because that late one cannot start until the sun goes down. And I have between 6 and 1 a.m. So I've got seven hours ahead of me to get to three and a half hours of class time in. Well, we'll see how I do because, you know, I, I think I've only made it to one class for the entire class. I'm not making the best of impressions on my teachers, especially when you consider the fact that I didn't even show up for the first week of school. Hey, so I'm already behind the eight ball. So I will be back with y'all after I at least go to one of my evening classes. Aragon will be up next. And I'm looking forward to that. It's been a very long time since I've read that book. And I'm curious to see how it's going to hold up. But I, it, it's been a while since I've read one with dragons. Although House of Dragons. That was really good. Waiting for the sequel on that. But Serafina, I'm looking forward to getting back into that. All right. I've gone on long enough. I don't have time to waste today. And I'm going to go a break for dinner before I run to my next class. And I've got pizza that we ordered this afternoon. So that works out really good and sounds yummy. Okay, I'll see you in a while. Okay, I made it to the end of my evening classes and I had such a good reading day. Everything was great. And let's see, tonight I read Aragon for an hour and I loved it. It's been ages since I read this and I forgot how good it is. I am so excited to be back in this world and spend some time with our dragon. Spoiler, there's a dragon. I just loving it. And then I got to go back to Victoria. So this was my first book of the morning that I was late to. But I got to spend another two and a half hours with it tonight, which I fully enjoyed. Wait. Oh, I have another hour. I only did an hour and a half. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Make sure. Yeah, I did an hour and a half. So I still have my late class. I thought I was done for the day. So I'm going to, let me see what time it is. 10, 15, not bad. So I have one more hour of reading, which, oh, but yay. <laughs> Cause this is so good. And I kind of was leaving it at a kind of cliffhanger moment. So I still have more school to do, but it's, uh, the numbers aren't going to change dramatically. Cause I was going to say, you know, maybe I didn't do as good as I thought because I have eight and a half hours of school today and I did six hours and 14 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, uh Oh, I, I failed really bad, but I forgot I have a whole nother hour to do. So seven, 14, I, I'm betting I miscalculated because I know I missed more than just an hour's worth. Anyway, I'm going to go to my late night class and then I will come back and let you know. I'll add it all up properly and see how much I've missed today because I, I know I tanked this morning and this afternoon. I think I was able to salvage that. But this morning I definitely, yeah, mornings are going to be tricky. All right. I will see y'all again in just a bit. Okay. I'm back. And this time, I really have gone through my first day of school. So I just finished the second class for the night in Victoria. So I made a lot of progress in this one today. I'm on page 178. Really enjoying it. So good. 
uh, yeah, I just, and I love the writing too. Not only is it interesting and compelling, but it's really well written, really well written. It's late. My brain is getting to mush. <laughs> I'm getting a little concerned because this is only day one. You know, I got four more days of this before I hit the weekend. And somehow I have to get tomorrow's video ready. Yay. It's, yeah, it's going to be a long week. Okay, I did double check my math. Yeah, I was supposed to read for eight and a half hours today, and I read for seven hours in 15 minutes. So I lost an hour and 15 minutes. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Honestly, I thought I'd lost a lot more time than that. But don't forget, I lost all of last week too. <laughs> so we will see. This is definitely be gonna. This is definitely going to be a challenge to see if I can actually complete these books before my exams. But I am worn out. I am going to call it a night, and I will see y'all in the next one, which will be day two. So wish me luck. It's going to be another busy day on Tuesday. All right. Bye.